Hi, this is Sandrine Sims, presenting yet another cool thing you can do with the Reflex Live Loop. In this case, using the pitch shifter and slices to get some great glitch effects that will follow audio from a drum loop or anything that is fed into the slice play trigger. The trigger input is pretty sensitive, so it's a good idea to have control over the trigger audio level after. To start, we have a simple drum sample looping that will be recorded in echo mode and pitch shifted. Make sure the rate knob is centered and enter pitch shifting mode by recording, switching to G-Move, play effects, and starting play effects. Set the feedback so it's not trailing too long and bridging sounds. The idea is to get a variety of different effects with pitch shifting mode. Changing the rate with a CV or by hand and varying the grain size works. When ready, tap P mode switch to start peak slicing. As slices are being created, experiment with the pitch shifter. Remember that peak slicing uses the output audio, so you may want to slide over more to the left to the original input sound for clean slices. After a minute or two of recording, stop peak slicing and recording by holding the record button and exit pitch shift play effects by holding the play button. The slices can now be checked. They will consist of the feedback level and the original sample mixed together. There's probably over a hundred slices in there, so on to the next part. We're going to trigger slices using the original drum loop audio. Lowering the audio level on the slice play trigger will probably yield better results. The left channel input is left plugged in as it's normalized, so we'll play the original drums through both channels if desired. An LFO is selecting the slices to play randomly with the drums. Now start and play effects is being used to shorten the slices, as these are all one-shot slices. CV in the rate control further randomizes the timber of these glitch-like slices. G-Move doesn't exit, but rather loops, so acts as more of a fill, but still following the drum's audio, like this.
It's a lot of fun to play with and some may find use for this. I'm Sandrine Sims. Keep on patching.